Hey guys, Dalek44 here. I need no introduction, but I've got one anyway. And today I'm going to be doing my first TTTE commentary. On the... On the episode from Series 2, which is called Toffee River, which is based off of the Magic Roundabout story. And you'll be happy to know that TTT Series 3 is coming along great. The first episode is almost complete and will be available soon. But anyway, on to this episode. This was obviously based off of a Magic Roundabout episode that I used to watch a lot when I was a kid. And I just decided, why not just do a Thomas version of it? Yeah, just came up to me at... <laughs> yeah, Percy. With a bunch of scarecrows. <laughs> Percy with skeletons. That came up at the last minute, really. Yeah, I was just uh, like showing that not everybody on Sodor likes Percy for some reason. Yeah. And I should talk about the TARDIS appearing in random moments in this episode. That idea came up to me at the last minute as well. I was doing the shots for the episodes and decided why not have a police phone bot show up at random moments? And yeah, that was where the idea came from. And I chose Emily as the main character for this episode because she was only first introduced in episode 9 of the series and I thought she deserved an episode to herself. And this was it. Yeah, and this fantasy moment with the Shark Tale version of Car Wash, I just chose that song because I like it. I just like that version of Car Wash more than the original version for some reason. And just decided to use a bit of that for this random fantasy moment. And <laughs> the narrator's just like, that answers one question but raises another one. <sighs> you know, I just got that line from The Grim Adventures of Biddy and Mandy. I, I think it was an episode where elves and gnomes were fighting each other because of, like, food popularities or something like that. But uh, either way, that was where the line came from. And there's the random pink guy who isn't really there. <laughs> yeah, I just decided that Sex should say that, because he wasn't really there at all before I painted him in. And and this joke with Sec trying to guess what's going on, uh, I, I actually came up with that idea after watching an abridged version of Banjo-Kazooie that was discontinued. Uh, I think it was a bit where Grunty's talking to Dingpot about Tootie and she's just randomly guessing about stuff. And I chose to do the Smurfs movie because I thought uh, that would be funny because I was going to see the Smurfs movie when I was uh, during that time, but uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah. And a joke that's coming up with uh, keeping the episode running for longer than two minutes, and that was a joke, another fourth wall joke. Because you do want to keep these Thomas episodes running longer than two minutes. Yeah, it'll be more fun, yeah. And here's one of my lines from Magic Roundabout where Sex going like, What? Yeah, I, I made a real good effort to sound like Eric Thompson. Because he always said what in that way. He was always like, What? 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 <laughs> yeah. I yeah, just wanted to have it very, very similar to Eric Thompson's what. And and this moment with Emily going having that lecture about how she does a job and doesn't complain was obviously based off of the original story and uh, Emily Francis 19 does a great job at delivering her lines. Uh, I, I personally thought she was going to be a little bit more emotional than the final product but whatever it's really good. Yeah. Uh, she's great. She's really talented. I was glad to have her in my series as both Rosie and Emily. It's great when you can get someone like that in the show, yeah. <laughs> Fat man drunk. I just randomly chose to draw a duff bottle with the very little talent I had back then on paint, which has definitely improved over the years. And with other characters, I decided to have Percy in this because he didn't have that much time to shine in Series 1, so I just decided to give him a big moment for Series 2. And I, I ended up making him sort of like Brian, like saying like afternoon or morning or morning or evening or and all that. And Sec is obviously the Dougal here, like being like a Johnny laughing pipsqueak, the things I suffer. Yeah, again, I was trying to sound a lot like Eric Thompson, and 
I, I think I did a pretty good job at capturing his style. Uh, I mean, I've watched M Magic Round about for years as a child, and, and I think I managed to get it down a treat, but I'm um, not really sure. Let's see what you think. <laughs> and the bit coming up where they all repeat Toffee, I just uh, wanted to make it... I just wanted to make sex reaction to that word very similar to Dougal's, so like, going like, Toffee? Toffee? Did you say Toffee? And I would have done an echo where Sec goes under the bridge to say Toffee, but I uh, uh, didn't really have the time to do that. And so, uh, yeah, just ended up doing that. And I should talk about that bit with the guy spilling the Toffee. Uh, in the original Magic Roundabout story, they didn't really give an explanation of how the Toffee was spilt, so I just decided to say that some railway idiot did it. Yeah, just uh, given an actual reason for it, and and yeah, looking at it from a certain point of view, it does seem kind of dirty that someone would just drink toffee from a railway track. It's kind of filthy, isn't it? I mean, wouldn't you be worried about like dirty things on the tracks? Wouldn't you be worried about that? But <laughs> but that kind of logic doesn't really exist in my videos, as you know. And here we have the end of the episode. But with the bridge scene, I had to uh, film that scene in two parts. I had to uh, do one shot of Emily's back and another shot of Emily's front, because when I tried to push the model under the bridge, she wouldn't exactly go under the bridge. Well, some of her went under the bridge okay, but the funnel kept hitting the roof, and I just had to do some editing to solve the problem. And here's the ending with Slovene falling off the bridge. I decided to do this because they did it with Ermintrude in the original story. So, yeah, Slovene falling off the bridge. <laughs> Funny stuff. And that's uh, about all I could say for it. So, and hope you enjoyed this commentary. And episode one of series three will be out soon. I'll see you later.